Hey guys, and welcome to the seventh episode of the Unity 3D How to Make a Zombie FPS Game series. Now, I once again, <laughs> sorry, apologize for the delay between the video and not sticking to my sort of schedule. Um, I, um, it's about the period, I think it's tomorrow, I have to submit my, not have to, but the application's open for um, the university submissions for me for next year so uh, I've just been a bit busy in thinking about things and stuff so sure you guys understand thank you for that and um, what I'm trying to do now is set up a more social side of things so make sure you check out my Facebook link should be in the description the Facebook page sorry and um, the Twitter pay, um, account and um, soon I want to be starting up a website for the Plox Games YouTube channel and start a um, game development team so if you're interested, interested, sorry, interested in that please just e give me an email and um, yeah that'd be great so let's get into it so last episode what we did was we made up this item class thing so um, we essentially set up um, what we a list sort of thing well a class but a list of um, different variables that we're going to use for the item so for each item so what we're going to do today is create the inventory um, and this might be split into two episodes because I might actually do both of these to just get them both done in a time and I'll try and take some time to kind of um, talk about the coding and what it's doing and stuff like that because I, I know I did go a bit fast in the last episode so for this one well, we're going to create this one recreate this one um, but basically what we're doing is setting up the inventory and um, through this we can then continue to add remove um, items and just whatever else, else we want to do also with crafting I think we need to I think we might actually create a new script for that but um yeah so this isn't a finished script I actually got some help off another video which I'll try and find and put in the link in the description um, and he's that channel was absolutely great um, it was really good so um, this isn't finished yet I've just kind of added on my own sort of thing and we'll try and figure out what else we need to do for remove I don't think I have removing it so um, that's enough for the talking so let's get right into it so what you want to do is go back into unity and go into your inventory folder inside your scripts folder and create a new C sharp script. And then we're going to call that inventory and double click that one to open it. Just full screen that and I know um, it's been a bit hard to read the, the code because of the resolution of the screen so I'm just going to zoom in for this. Um, if you have, guys have any other problems like that um, just let me know I'm happy to help and yeah thank you. So first of all I think we created, we'll put these two next side by side and make so I can check it. First of all we need the generic using generic collections because we're using classes actually I'm not even sure we need this but I think I just put it in anyway so system using system dot collections dot generic now what this does is it basically accesses the collections um, the generic part of collections of the system of the code so you can use any code that is used inside generic inside collections so basically what it does is these programs don't load all the code the possible code that you can use so um, for example in the generic it holds the classes so if you don't load this part of this of the thing you won't be able to use that code and you it does that to save um, space and processing power I believe so yeah I mean it's really good just you gotta make sure you use the right ones so then we're just gonna go into here and create a public sorry caps lock public um, list of type list so this is a list using the coll collections generic so we do need that of type item so that's what we call the other one so we're collect using this we're using this, what we created, this class item as a list and we're going to call that inventory and it's going to be equal to new, I think it's new, yeah, new list of item no, sorry, list of type item and that's that, oh we got a 
put a bracket. Alright, so make sure you get that one, and I think the next one's pretty much the same, and yet you just call it slots. So control C and control V, and just change this one to slots. Um, and we, I believe this line is used to um, get the stuff from the database, so it accesses the inventory from the database. So what this database is, is it holds all the items. So each line of this, each line, each item dot add is a new item, and you can change it. That's why we did this down here. So what we do in that database is we call this item dot add. It'll add, and you, if you put in all of these, all of these possibilities. Um, all these variables, sorry, then it'll use that and it's set it back up to here. So it's an easy way to code the um, items into your game instead of having to do it through the inspector and possibly losing it. Um, then this one is empty one for empty slots, for example, you know, you got nothing in it, so I think that's the slot, what the slot one's for. So then we're going to, we'll just create that one for now, but we might come back to that if I remember. Private item database um, database base sorry spelling um, public int slots x slots y and now this this comma thing basically means it's public int slot x enter pu public int slots y um, so, what um, it's um, what's it doing is um, it's I think it's used for the size of the slots. Um, yeah, how many slots you have in your inventory? Say if you have twenty items across, that'd be X, and tw and like fifteen items down, like fifteen rows down and then 20 columns, so that's your thing. So you could name that columns and rows, or rows and columns, so I, 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 a bit iffy today, it's after school, so. Um, so then we're gonna create a private bool inventory. Now this one is a true or false statement. Now what this is, is we are calling it um, show inventory, so show because we used the inventory out there. So what this is doing is checking to see if what it's going to do, what we're going to program it to do, is to um, um, check if the inventory is open. So when we open the inventory, it's going to change it to whatever. When we press a button, it's going to change it to the opposite of what it is. So if we press a button and it's already open, it's going to close. If, it, if we press a button and it's closed, it's going to open. And so that's um, pretty straightforward. So now for the next bit, we're going to go inside the start function and I'm sorry that I'm going through this code and like this it is a bit confusing but I don't know this stuff off the top of my head sorry uh, this is just you know stuff I look at off other people so I mean yeah I'm not that great but you know thanks um, so what we're gonna do is create a for loop so for and we're gonna create integer i equals zero and then we're gonna create make um, I think it's i equals slots is greater than less than slots times slots i is less than slots x times slots y and then, then i um, plus plus that's right because that last one is to say what um, it does if it's not there once it goes through one round so we're going to add one to the i so then we're going to for each. Oh, okay, so basically, what this does is, as soon as it starts, it's going to create an empty slot for however many slots you have. So rows by columns, um, columns by rows. Yeah, columns, columns by rows, because x is the top. So columns by rows. Um, it's going to add a new item. So for each each slot, it's going to add a new item. So slot, slots dot add, and what basically essentially what we're doing here is calling this and then we're going to go add and add it's just going to add and we've got an empty so it's just going to add one of these so an empty item I believe I'm pretty sure that's that's what that is um, yeah we're going to put a new item in there so new item 
Alright, then what we're going to do is go inventory dot add and do exactly the same thing and new item and that's an empty item and I'm pretty sure for this what we what it does is just um, sets it so that the inventory has those slots and then the um, I'm not entirely 100% sure so I really should have gone back over the videos before I did this but just wanted to really get get a video out to you guys or a couple of videos out to you so next we're just going to basically find the database so I'll just copy this one I'll go through it because this one's pretty standard code that I've gone over before so we're just going to set this database this item database we're going to equal it to finding an object called item space database um, I'll explain that in a second so find object in the ex in the hierarchy the explorer or whatever you want to call it um, it's going to be item space database both capitals dot get component item database so what we need to do is create an item called a empty game object called item space database and it's going to gra and it's going to have this item database script on it when once we um, create it so what we'll do is we'll just do that now now I think I've already done that yeah um, I'll actually delete those two. So just we're gonna have to go little trick I know it's really good. Control control shift N for Windows edit. I'm not sure about Mac, sorry. Um you just have to find that one out. So create empty object, um rename that one um item space database, member capitals at the start base and that's going to have the item database on it when we do that and we're just going to quickly create now now call the create another empty and it's going to be inventory so this is just going to be our inventory inventory script and that's just going to hold this inventory um, script thing so now um, what we do is add item one add item one what's that doing Um, is that in here? Um, oh, that's right, because there's something below there. Add item, add item. So we're going to add an item of ID. So what I did up here was just automatically give myself one item. So then um, you can um, you can just I could just debug it for the moment. But so basically that's how you do it. When you want to add something, you can just access this script and then call the add item function and then you just put in whatever ID your item is. So each one you give an ID zero and one and that's just what you do. So we'll leave that one out because we don't want to do that now. We may may put that in later. So now here comes the show inventory bull part. Um what we're gonna do is go make an if statement if now um, we're going to make it i, I think. Yep, i. So if input dot get button get key get key up get key down. I'll just do ah. Uh, yeah, I'll go down. No, I don't really mind. Um, and we're going to go key code i. I mean, you can change this to whatever you want. Key code dot I and yeah you can change it to whatever you want to suit your game and that's cool should work now that we're just gonna go show inventory inverse of show inventory so equals and is equal to the opposite of show inventory so if, you know that's that thing about uh, false being if it's false it'll change to true if it's true it'll change it to false so then we're just going to have to create a void a GUI I think I just, I didn't really fi finish this bit, on GUI, sorry. I don't think I really finished this bit, and you can just change it to be yourself, but I will be going over this probably in the next episode. Um, and by the looks of it, yep, this is going to be a two episode thing, so 7.1, 7.2, or 7 part 1, 7 part 2, um, whatever. Um, so it's going to call open inventory. Um, so if um, show inventory is equal equals equals true, then we're going to go ahead and go open inventory. And now, um, so we're going to create a void open inventory inventory. And that's that will 
Alright, I'll just... I've got to go do something, so I'll be right back, and I'll see you in a second. Bye.